All right. Mario 2. I think we're good. I think everyone's air levels are all okay. Oh, resized obs. Okay. Let's try this now. Oh, I skipped the story. Whatever. You all know the story, right? Yeah, you all know. Luigi time! Mario! You see, now I get to do the voices. I get to voice more than just Mario. You know what would be amazing? This probably exists in the form of a ROM hack somewhere. Is, uh... Mario 2. But... With more characters. I mean, obviously, there's the, like, Super Mario Remix. And that's... MARIO 1! That's Mario 1. With, uh... Like, Mega Man and Castlevania Dude, Simon. And all the other guys. But I want to see, uh, I want to see Mario 2 with, like, Wario and Waluigi. And who else? Wario and Waluigi would both have, you know, pretty unique play styles, I'm sure. Like, Waluigi would be the highest jumper. Well, no, I guess Luigi's kind of that already. Waluigi may be the fastest runner. And Wario. I guess Wario, honestly, probably should have been the Toad in this game. Like, the strongest one, fastest, while holding something. Your Princess Daisy, stuff like that, you know? That'd be fun. Which one of the three is your favorite? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. I want, I want to say Mario 3, because that's kind of, I think that's most people's favorites. Favorite. Is Mario 3 just because, you know, it's got the most content out of the games? Oh, I can't jump that high. Ah, oh, okay. If I was standing on an enemy, I think I could. I think, just in case, this time I'm going to save state after every world. Uh-oh. Because this game has continues, like two of them, but even so, I think it's harder than Mario 1. Well, so much for that. I don't know. I think I still would say Mario 3 is my favorite of the NES ones. I think Mario 1 is my least favorite. Not because of the game, necessarily, or the difficulty, even. But, uh, mostly because the controls are the floatiest. I'm not, I'm not getting this timing down well at all. Well, that'll do. Come on, Weege. I'm a coming, princess! I'm a coming to sub guns! We're not saving the princess. We're joining the princess this time. You'll never get past me! The, uh... Now, I've never played this. I've seen footage of it. The game, there were... Game Boy remakes of the Mario games. Super Mario Brothers 1 became Super Mario Brothers Deluxe on the Game Boy Color. That I own. It, was, it actually got a lot of new content in it. I think it has some lost some uh, lost level stuff too. Mario 2 became Super Mario Advanced and they also did Mario 3 and Mario World in the Advanced series, but uh, Super Mario Advanced 1 the uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 remake for Game Boy Advance, somewhat infamously, had voice clips for all the characters. So, you know, you'd have Mario jumping around, Woohoo! It's a me! And Ouija time! Toad's infernal noises. I think even the princess had voice clips. My act actually, my favorite is Toad. I like I like being fast. I like being a Sonic Sonic fastest character for the win. And you know, it's annoying enough, you know, playing through the game and having Toad going Whoa! every time you jump. So that's one thing. 
but for some reason, they gave uh, they gave Birdo a voice. So every time you see her on screen, she has this really feminine, kind of Cali girl voice, or valley girl, whatever. Saying something just totally unfitting. Like, now I'll show you, or something along those lines. It's so weird! I also found out recently, apparently, I never really used it, I just kind of booked it most of the time, but you can, uh... You can hold on to the... You can drop the key, and Fanta will stop chasing you. And the longer you do that... Ow. Oh, the longer you do that, the longer it will take him to get back to you. So you can uh, let it sit. Let it stew for a little while. And have a little uh, Fanto freedom. Of these is the door. One of these is a door. No? Could have sworn one of these was a door. No! Damn it! Maybe this was the door. No, 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 no! My fault. All my fault. Now, oh, there was a heart right there, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you, Sniffit. There we go. Okay. Here's my door. Was there a specific reason you chose Toad for this level? No. Honestly, if I were going for... If I were just going for the win... Well, it is nice to have Toad to pick all those as fast as possible. Toad is the fastest picker. And uh, runs the fastest while holding something. But, no, I'm just trying to play all the characters. If it were up to me and I were just going for the win, I would probably just, like, play Peach every level. Given that, you know, she's kind of broken in this game. Oh, that was weird. I'm sorry, not Peach. She's still a Toadstool. I'm usually pretty... I usually don't get anything from this. I'm doing wow, I'm doing well. Completely by chance. I, I, I think by chance. I've gotten like three lives from this so far. Four lives. Okay. I never play Mario in this game. There's no reason to play Mario. He's just... He's, he's boring. Like, if you have characters with special powers... You gotta use the characters with powers. I, uh, very... Oh, okay. Well, rip star very strategic where you choose to place that door. Yeah, it's just, it's boring playing as, a uh, every, every man, every ability Mario. And stopwatch. Also a lot of weird mechanics in this game. Like, uh, okay. If you kill five enemies, you get a heart. If you get five cherries, you get a star. And if you pick five of the big vegetables specifically, then you get a stopwatch that stops time. Uh-oh! An ambush! Oh, that sucked. Come here. Come here. Come here! I need a, I need a heart. Oh no, cherries is a heart. I think, isn't it? There's enemies a heart. I, I don't remember. I actually didn't know any of these mechanics 
when I was younger. I only just found out about them watching other people play this game much more recently. Nope. Need a boost. Come on, Mario. No, I watched, uh... I watched, uh, Vinny Vine Sauce play through this recently. I mean, not recently. It was an old video that I rewatched, but I just I felt like playing Mario 2 again. And that's what I was ultimately, uh... That's what I ultimately wanted to play. But, uh... As I mentioned at the start of the Mario 1 stream, I wanted something more disposable, just in case things went wrong. I wanted a stream that I wouldn't mind if I had uh, lost it to the ages. In Mario 1, I wouldn't mind. I'm fine if uh, I did a playthrough of Mario 1 and it never made it to YouTube for whatever reason. This is scary. Mario 2, I would not be fine with that. Mario 2, I would want uh, for posterity. So here we are. Oh, those are some fucker spikes down there. At least they're not instant death like Mega Man spikes. I don't think. Have you guys heard of the uh, Mega Man Maker? That is, uh, it's fan-made. But exit. Oh, okay, that was a cool, uh, that was a cool way for that to play out. Come here. Come here, sniff it. Fan-made, but it ex exists now. There's a Mega Man Maker. And I haven't looked into it yet, but it's something that I may be interested in streaming for the future. Cool uh, fan-made projects include Mega Man Maker and uh, Mario with the Zero, the Portal Mario crossover. And that's been on my list forever to stream is Mario. Preferably with Jack, because multiplayer is kind of the uh, whole point of that. Oh, I can't kill that with bombs. Alright. I made it in safely. I'm good. Come here. Come on. Throw your bombs at me. Give me your bombs! Cherry bombs. Oh. Come on, stay put. He dodged it. Get closer. Come on! There we go. Okay, we're good. I'm also glad this game had more interesting bosses than Mario 1, just Bowser at the end of every level, and Mario 3 for that matter. Mario 3's bosses had very slight variations between the Koopa Kids, but they were mostly very similar. You know, just bounce on them three times, and that was it. They had their energy attacks, their magic that went all over the place. Also another interesting game thing about this game. I'm, I'm doing bad. I'm just bad. Is that there are two desert worlds. Oh, really, Shell? Well, fuck you, Shell. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna move on. It's, uh, World 2 and World 6 are both deserts. Is curious, no? Okay, whatever. I didn't want those. I do want this. Heart? I don't need a heart, I guess. Yeah, you... Uh-oh. Yeah, Peach was, uh, Peach was my go-to girl for this game. And I think that was the true for a lot of people. It was not especially hard to recognize how easy Peach made the game. Come here.
I mean, it didn't. She didn't make it that easy, but it makes for very forgiving platforming when you can uh, undo, when you can, uh, you know, float and just forgive most of your fuck up jumps. You know, correct yourself without leaving the air. No, turn this way. I'm throwing its young at it. Also pretty common knowledge, I think. But uh, the Mario 2 manual... I think the NES one states that uh, Birdo is actually a he who wants to be a she. That, uh... 1986 transgender stuff. Was it 80? It was... Maybe it was later than that. I don't know the... I don't remember the exact year for this game. 86 might have been Mario 1. Let's try Ouija. I don't... Even after having recently watched this game, I don't know the levels well enough to uh, remember what character I want for what level. All I do remember for sure is that I do not want to play Ouija on the ice level. That's going to be a bad idea. Ice World, rather. Which is World 4, if I remember right, because you can warp to it. No, 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 no! This is a bad spot for me to be in. Fuck off. No, no! Fucking bullet snakes. Why won't you die? Okay, I need that. That's a good, good thing to get. I know of the two warp zones. The 1 to 4 warp zone and the 4 to 7 warp zone. I don't know if there are any others scattered around. Or not. Okay, is that enough? No? Even now I can't remember which is which. Cherries... Cherries are hearts. I think. Right? Cherries are hearts and enemies are stars? Or is it the other way around? No, enemies are hearts. Okay. I just saw a heart coming up. What a pointless pot. Damn it! Oh! There was one sniper and there was another sniper hiding behind him. It was like the, the shuriken gambit in Naruto. See, what you didn't know was that Naruto was the shuriken. Oh, that... Okay. He hit the bullet. So one of the snakes accidentally sniped the other snake. Or rather, sniped his corpse. And I get hit. Okay, that's cool. Just uh, go down here for a little bit. I could farm hearts here if I really wanted to. You know, kill snakes, but... This is dangerous! This job, uh, the farming. Probably a little late to be asking this, but let me know, by the way, if the audio levels are okay or not. I try to have the game uh, f fairly quiet. Don't really need to go in here, but... God damn it! Snipers behind snipers! What is this, only World 2 and I'm struggling? Sometimes it sounds loud, but most times normal. Okay, that's good. I'm probably a little farther from the mic than I need to be as well, so... Might be a little bit on me. Come on. Heart! Heart! Give me the Mati! Earth, wind, fire, and heart! I'm fucked! Gotta run, gotta run, gotta book it. Fight, run from the bullet. Okay, I made it. I like how he doesn't climb down, he just slides down like a fire pole. And for some reason he stops. Like he's going to, uh... 
like he's going to just stop at the end, but he doesn't stop. He uh, continues falling after a brief moment. Nope. Okay, well you can continue to go on up to your heart's content, little ninja fella. I am glad that some of the, uh, I say Doki Doki characters, but as was mentioned during the Mario 1 stream, I will repeat to some level that, uh, from what I heard, this actually was a Mario game for at least a short time, or conceptually a Mario game, before it was made into Doki Doki Panic because they wanted, a t Japanese TV station wanted their mascots to be represented. And so they made the conceptually Mario game into Doki Doki Panic, and then made Doki Doki Panic into the uh, Mario 2 USA. So, interesting history. Again, just repeating what I heard. Or what I read on the Mario Wiki. Which I encourage you all to look up yourself. Aw, oh, come on, Weege. You can jump that. Make me do the super jump. Oh, Okay, get down already. Ah. Oh. That's a that's a bad spot for that block to be in. I'm gonna I am not gonna die to Birdo. Oh, I'm sorry. If you believe the game credits, it's Ostro. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die to Birdo. Fuck me! Shield, please. There we go, okay. Yeah, Birdo and the ostrich enemy, also fairly common knowledge, I think, were actually... their names were swapped in the credits to this game. Totally by fluke, by accident. And I'd heard there was one other error in the game's credits as well. I'm not sure what that one is. Let's try Peach again. Or Toadstool. You know you're in the right kingdom when your princess is named Stool. That area over there looks important. I'll bet I need to take a door over there. Fuck you, Bezos! Oh, now I get the door. Okay, well... Obviously there was uh, no plants left over there, so let's... Yep, here's the mushroom. My instincts were correct. I wonder what the delay is on, uh, YouTube. You know, obviously I checked to make sure that the stream was working. But I don't know what the delay is like, if it's any faster than it is on Twitch. Twitch, as I recall, is about, like, 30 seconds. For myself watching myself. Or maybe it's less than that. God damn it. Damn it! Damn it! I don't remember if you can stand on pokies in this game or not. I don't think you can. Can you? Maybe you can. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know this game well enough. There we go. Good old heart. Get out of here. Or no, the... Actually, I think I do know how to check the delay is that... At the start of this stream, of the Mario 1 stream, rather, I heard myself briefly. And I was only, like, uh, YouTube was a second or so after Twitch. And I don't know if that was the page, re the page refresh that caused that difference, or if maybe YouTube's just a very slightly more delayed. Which is fine. Not the end of the world. I think it might uh, take folks some time to realize that I'm streaming on YouTube now. Or we're streaming on YouTube. Since this worked... 
you know, all our streams will hopefully be broadcast this way to come. Oh, that's good to have. I, w I want to kill Fanto. Please let me kill Fanto. Come here, Fanto. I'm ready for you. I'm waiting. Nope, he didn't. He wasn't fast enough. Is he coming at all? Hello, Fanto. We had dinner plans. No? I got stood up. Oh, there he is. A day late and a dollar short, Fanto. You're gonna have to find another girl to play your games with. I'm not here to play games! Do I look like I'm here to play games? I may be here to play games. And I just took some unnecessary... Why, why are these cactuses growing in, in bricks? What kind of hardy-ass species of plant is this? This pot represents Phanto's rage at being abandoned. No, you fucker! Die. I hate snakes. Fuck snakes. Oh, right, there's a boss. And I just die immediately. That's okay. Oh, and he's got little pets. He's got little dragon minions. Come on, Tri Clyde. I'm at full, he full health and ready to take you on now. Nope. Mm -mm. Make me a little, uh... I'm gonna make me a little box fort. Nope. Nope, get out of here. Stop. Stop breathing fire, please. No. Go away. I should have done Toad for this. I should do Toad for every boss fight. Why? Because... I imagine speedrunners got to use a combination of uh, Peach and Toad. May your aim be true, Prince. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, come on! I need more speed. Oh, okay. Well, and I just okay. I'm good. I can I can recover. I also don't think I realized until my adult life that these were a mush- He just fires down, doesn't he? He just doesn't aim up here. Is this an emulator error? Or is he just that incompetent that he cannot aim up? Is that a safe spot? This platform just right here? Right in front of him? Excuse me, but that seems rather silly. What an unfortunate boss design, if that is intentional. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Toad. Wahoo! Oh, that one hurts. The wahoo hurts my voice. I still say we need more Waluigi in this game. He's just a very a slightly a deeper Luigi. This is Luigi. And this is Waluigi. Very, very similar. I think my worst of the Marios. The four brothers, if you will. Is, uh, Wario. I'm not great with Wario. So, uh, buddy, you can only fire straight up, can you? That's, uh, that's too bad. That's unfortunate for you. What a poorly designed organism. Utterly unable to defend itself. Okay, well, where am I going with this? Over here, maybe? That looks like a place where a, a mushroom might be. Nope. I don't know where the mushroom is. Oh, it was probably over here, huh? Oh, you fucker, he's back. He's returned. Is 
there a mushroom here? No, no mushroom, okay. I guess I'm doing this one with uh, mushroomless. Oh, and he's back again. You, you, fuck. You, you bad, bad flower. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Toad's in trouble. Toad is fine. Now I can never leave. Okay, Birdo boss. Oh, and this one's guarding the mushroom blocks. Look, he's so tiny, he's so adorable, little toad. He's a little pet, little baby toad. Oh no! I was running from it. I was like Indiana Jones running from the boulder. Except I couldn't get away. I couldn't... Maybe I could have ducked under it. Maybe I was short enough. Do the characters have different types, tight, uh, heights and hitboxes? Is Babby Toad shorter than, uh, like, Babby Luigi? Good, uh, wouldn't mind a couple more lives now. If that's not me being greedy. Okay, that works. I- what? What gives you a 1-up? It's so vague. I got two cherries and a star gives you one up. Hello, Birdo. Yeah, according to the game credits, that is Birdo. Little ostrich fella. Oh! Are, are there more? Oh, I can't ride on him. He slides out from under me. Oh, there we go. That'll do. No. Go away. Go away, birds. Damn it! I just... I kind of just stood there. Granted. Go down. Go down, Peach! Okay. I remember this stupid... Puzzle area. Kind of a puzzle. Not really a puzzle. Just gotta be fast. Yeah, fast. Gotta bring two down from the top. Otherwise, you will not have enough bombs. Uh, turning vaguely to Sean Connery. <clears throat> little better. Never a bad time to be Sean Connery. My voice is giving out. I need a drink. Okay, is this a good place where I want to be? Just enjoy that beat for just a second. <clears throat> oh, yes. That's better. I've played Spelunky in a while. Let's try that again. Now, book it, Peach! No, I couldn't book it. There we go. I say only because the shopkeeper in Spelunky looks like Sean Connery. The shy guy never stopped falling. Some say he still falls to this day. I had one shot, and I did it. I didn't fuck myself with that bomb. Oh, that's a that's a cool, cool effect. Just standing in the wall there. I'm so glad this game doesn't have a time limit. Okay, one of these is a door. Which one of these is a door? Okay, that one. I needed a bomb to get that. That was a bomb. God damn it. <laughs> Dodged a bullet there. This is an interesting level design. Going forward and back again. 
Come on, Birdo, I can take you. Why didn't it jump? I, I pressed the A button, it didn't jump. It's all the controller's fault. Speaking of controllers, biggest waste of money of my life. Uh, I mentioned the stupid decision previously in this stream of my selling all of my uh, game paraphernalia, my classic game paraphernalia, for $40. That was really stupid. But the worst purchase of my life, that was the worst sale, worst purchase was the Steam Controller. Waste of money, that. $60 on something that uh, I've never willingly used since purchase. I tried it once, never looked back. Three, three. I'm I'm not even halfway through this. I gotta pick up the pace. This is a long game. Longer levels than the first one. Nope. Go away, Burdo. Go away, Ostro. No mushroom. I guess I should have expected there would be no mushroom in this barren expanse of land. I just stood under it. I just took that. Come on, Toad. You're supposed to be fast. Nope! And there go all my plants. Let's see, is there a mushroom over here, perhaps? There is! Lucky me! Okay, where am I getting that key from? In here, I'm gonna guess. This seems like a uh, good key finding place. Oh, yeah, those ones walk off. Oh, really? Uh... No? This is just a... Just a jape room? I can't get up there? What's that shit? I don't think even Luigi could make that jump. Did I need to... Oh. Oh. If they're doing... Okay, I've never done this before, so I'm gonna try it. If they want me to do what I think they want me to do, this is a stupid puzzle! Go away, please. That's stupid. Okay, go away, dragon dude. Now what's up here? Oh, that's just, that's just hot death up there. I'm not going to go up there. I'm going to check out what's in here first. This looks like a key area. This looks like a good place for me to go. Uh-oh. Toad, please grab ladder. Why you do... Okay, there's Fanto. And nothing I can do with him. I can't bring mushroom blocks up there. I can't bring a key up here. Ah, and I'm just gonna take that hit. That's okay. I wanted to do that, totally. Where am I going? And now I'm outside the... The fuck, game? And I'll just get hit. I, I'm, I'm so lost. Well, okay. I guess I'll go this way now. My aim needs a little work. I cannot, uh, I cannot 420 no-scope people with this level of, uh, throwing arm aim. No, please. No, please. Do not to be sending the shy guys at me. There we go. Okay, go ahead and drop that for a minute. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm 
sorry, no more Toad. I really should be killing these guys. I need... Heart. Yes, you heard me. Heart, singular. Heart. Is get heart plus. Is acquire heart. Oh, another game that we're planning to uh, start soonish is Kingdom Hearts. Hopefully soonish. I don't know how soonish. You know, ish. Go away, please, Fanto. Do 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 do. And now I guess I go on this one. But I've been here. This goes nowhere. I bit. Do I have to go up where those uh, shitty flowers were? Was that the correct path? Did I just use a key to access a place that I had access to already? This is a stupid level. I don't, I don't like this level. Oh no! Oh no! Uh-uh! Oh no, I just take that. Why didn't I go up the ladder? Why did I fall off the ladder? No! Toad fucked me. I bent over and he fucked me. Toad can't, uh... Toad is the shortest jumper. He cannot make that jump. Damn it. And I stood up for a second. I'm doing... I'm just doing bad all of a sudden. And I'm taking that damage. Yeah! Mmm. Eat that damage. Tastes good. Why would I ever not choose the princess? Why did I think I had the skill for Toad? I did the th same thing again. Thankfully, the dude was not coming for me that time. Do I have to try to make it up through that, uh... Those flowers with one health? I think I do. Or, uh... No? I can't bring mushroom blocks up here. What is the point of this area? Nothing, as far as I can tell. Oh, no! Walked right into that. Okay, let's try that again. I think... Thankfully, it checkpoints you on each map. So I can, uh... Well, I was gonna say kill these guys for health, but... I don't really need, uh, now that I've died, I no longer need health. Okay, spit your fireballs. Get out of here. I did, I didn't need the key at all. I could have, I had already reached this point. I just, I needed to go up to the shitty flowers. This looks fun. This looks like a lot of fun. I'm ready for fun. Let's have fun. Oh, that's fun. Oodles of fun. Can I have more fun? Here's some fun. Yeah, right into it. That time it was the screen transition that fucked me, and I'm just gonna stand on a wall there. That's good. Oh, there's a heart and a star. Well, that's just neat. Oh, I could have used that a little more. Alright, get out of here. Give me some space. Leave Toad alone. Oh, that's a... Is that an emulator glitch? That's not supposed to look like that. Is that a wall of brick? And I should have used that on... Why did I not use that on Birdo? Is there a Birdo here? There usually aren't enemies before Birdo. Or is this just an army of ninjis I have to make it past? Yep, it was just five ninjis. That was it. Now the question is... Oh, right. This is the this is the last level. There's boss here. Well, a boss. Not an especially dangerous boss. 
just a return of Mauser. Come on, dude, I need a bomb. This fucker, he comes around every time he's doing the throwing. I want to blow up this guy first. I want him out of here. You think... You think my impatient Mauser will blow him up? You think they'll just... The stars will align so that, uh... The dude will... What are they called? The electric dudes? So that he'll be there when the explosion happens? I'm almost there. Hello, Dazzling Glacion. Oh, I got him! Oh no! Oh no! I'm Toad. I can't, uh, I need a running start, or I can't make that platform. There we go, okay. I can barely make the platform. W okay, without that guy there, this is gonna be so much easier. Get fucked, mouse. You know what I never... I think I was, uh... I grew up on the Mario games, but I think I was too young. There it goes. There was my one hit. I was too young for the uh, Mario Brothers cartoons. I never saw any of those. Those were never on TV that I saw. So either they just weren't on the channels that I had. I don't know if they were like specialty channels or something. Or, uh... Well, that was much faster than last time. Or if they were just before, they were just before my time. If they'd just gone off the air by the time I started watching stuff. I only caught, like, the tail end of Ren and Stimpy's TV presence. And, you know, I started watching stuff consciously around the time that Spongebob first started, I think. Maybe a little bit before that. I remember Hey Arnold. I remember, uh, Ah, Real Monsters and Rugrats. You know they're doing a, uh, I heard this, or I saw a uh, YouTube thumbnail. Apparently they're doing a 2017 Hey Arnold movie. Which surprised me. I didn't think, uh, I guess it's kind of a cult classic. I mean, it's gotta be nostalgic for some people. It's nostalgic for me, granted, but I didn't think it was so popular and well-known that, uh, you know, it merited a revival movie. Okay, unlike Mario 1, this game I know the warp zones too very well, so even if I get a game over, I'm not too worried about uh, playing back to where I was. Doing pretty well so far, though. Oh, I wanted the other one. Why you not give me the other one? But I want it. But Mario! But I want it, Mario! I have a Mario voice, I have a Luigi voice, and I have a Toad voice. God help us. I don't really have a Peach voice. I mean, obviously I'm a dude, but... I mean, the best I can do is emulate her bitchy, bitchy humble bragging in Smash Brothers. Did I win? Yeah, that's Peach. That's Peach in a nutshell. The least gracious winner in Smash Brothers. In competition, perhaps, with uh, Asshole Laughing Fest Wario. But you know what? Wario gets points because uh, even when he loses... He's just such a happy dude, he's clapping very enthusiastically for the person who won. He's happy for him, he's great. Peach is just a bitch in Smash Brothers. I gotta play Luigi more so I can do the voice. But this is the one world you don't want to be Luigi for. Oh, that was bad. That ain't, that's, uh, that's good bad. Okay, there we go. It's, uh, 
part of the game that I'm sure is many people's bane. I don't mind it. I think it's fun. That's that's more like uh, Sonic gameplay. That one spot right there. In that you have to uh, keep moving and react as you're moving to the Bezos coming at you. Okay, yeah, just hang out and wait for that. You know, as opposed to taking it slowly and methodically. Oh, but I want the heart. I want the cherry. Give me the cherry. Come on. Send me up. There we go. And there's the other warp. Heart? No heart? No heart. Aw. Oh. Alright. Cherry. Heart, please. Plus heart. Heart. Ah! You know the funny thing? I can't tell if the heart... Can I take spikes damage from those? I'm gonna do something crazy. I wanted to slide over and get that cherry in the air. Hello? Oh, I fucked myself by killing the auto dude. Come here. Come here. No! God damn it! Okay, Shy Guy, just walk on that. Actually, you know what you'll do? I will make use of you. Playing a dangerous game here, getting these cherries. Oh. Oh. No heart. Come on, I'm gonna kill you, Birdo. Birdo. Birdo! Yes! I made it! Awesome. Sweet. Radical. Too fast. Aw, oh, come on, give me something. No! Just the weird combinations that give you things. I mean, that's an obvious one, but, uh... They got some trios that are worth something, for some reason. Let's go back to Toad. Oh, and there's a boss again. I hope I'm gonna have to... Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna say that. Because earlier on in this same playthrough, I said that uh, Toad was a good character for bosses. <laughs> that was as much as I could do. That was it. I tried to make that last the whole duration of the trip over the ocean. I couldn't. <laughs> Here? I don't think there's a door here. There's just radishes. And these don't count as big vegetables. No, you guys go away. You go away. You go away now! Okay, bye! I don't know if that was Chinese, Italian, or some ungodly combination of the two. Just, you know, this stream. White guys doing voices.avi. Jack gets mad when I do voices. He doesn't let me have fun. I should have killed those. I should have at least tried to kill those guys for hearts. Or heart. Singular. No. God damn it. Maybe up here. Oh, I can't super jump while holding that. Okay, well, rip that door. No! Well, who knew? In the ice world, even the shy guys are slippery. Wash your fucking hair. You're covered in oil, you shy guys! You know, riding shy guys. 
and it's Shy Guy Sandwich, where Toad is the cream filling. Just Toad things, you know? Come on, enter the door! You mushroom bastard! Let's do this. Get out of here, Fanto. I have a lot going on in my life. I don't need you on top of it. Nope. Don't need you either. Come here, you... Come here, you bastards! You blarney bastards! Where's our Scottish Mario character? We don't have one of those. No! Mm -mm. Oh no, Bezo. Okay, where am I going now? Am I going inside? I hear boss music. I think I was going in here. Yep, okay. Oh, and right, this is the final level. What a very easy boss. And perhaps I spoke too soon. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm in a bad spot. I'm in a very bad spot. Nope. Toad escape. Toad get the fuck out. Okay, come on over here, flame. There we go. Okay, this is good. And ultra kill! Yeah! The door, it destroyed the block. Not only, and not just the door, the door's light destroyed the mushroom block. Mushroom blocks... I guess like mushrooms are very sensitive to light. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. I said I was going to do this at the start of every world, and I haven't been. Just in case, there's my there's my save state. I haven't used any continues yet. But that said, I got cocky in Mario Brothers one too, and then the difficulty spiked hard around World Seven. So you know, you never know. I know this game has seven worlds. Nope, no mushroom. And the seventh world only has two levels instead of four. And the reason for that is actually that uh, in Doki Doki Panic, the story was that the characters were so- Oh, come on, really? I was right on top of it. Why didn't I ride the thing? The characters were sucked into a storybook, and the last chapter of the book was missing. That was part of the story. So, you know, made sense that the last world only had two levels. It was missing the last two, and you had to rewrite the ending by defeating the evil wart. Which, by the way, even Wart had, uh, had sound effects, had voice lines in the, uh, Mario 2 Game Boy Advance remake. I am the Great Wart! Wahaha! So he was just, he was Wario. He was Frog Wario. And hello, new Birdo, with fireballs, flaming balls. 
Nope. God damn it. Nope, right into it. And right into it again. Okay, that was my fault. I was dumb. I did dumb things. What's wrong? You can't get me up here? Why don't you get a little closer? Damn it. No. There we go. Okay. I think there are actually... I think there are actually four colors of Birdo. Except two of them are, are identical. The gray one and the green one. Both only shoot fireballs. So... I don't know why they felt the need for additional colors. Not that I have any problem with how any Birdo chooses to express their, uh, creative fashion. They can paint themselves whatever color they want. Or maybe that's their skin color and I'm being racist. Oh yeah! Should I just, uh, should I just add voice clips every time? Whee! Mario! Just every time I jump or make an action, you get Ouija. Ouija time! I think that would get real old real fast. Come on, Weege. You can make it. There we go. Yeah! Oh, it's a happy pot. Come on, blow up. What an interesting choice to make an enemy a hedgehog. Isn't that interesting? Oh, right, I can't... Can't summon doors in pots. Pots have no subcon world. I guess I was meant to bring that into the overworld. Does that respawn? Can I get it again? That was a mean thing to do. I just, like, held that shy guy... ...at... The closest Mario equivalent of gunpoint. That was like tying him to the train tracks and watching him squirm. Just hurling him... ...into a bomb primed to explode. What a, what a sadistic thing for Luigi to do. Yeah, now... ...the shy guy has become one of the hedgehogs, assimilated into their lemming-like society. Oh, he turns around that one when he's on a bird. Yeah. Uh oh, I needed them. Okay, maybe not. I'm Weege, I can make it. Yeah! Weege's fun. It's fun to do Weege. Oh, I had as much time as I wanted with that bomb. You can go with your, uh, hedgehog lemmings down the cliff all you want. Also never played lemmings. That was a, uh, that was one of those games that got its start on a, one of those, you know, nobody-owned systems. Like, uh, Prince of Persia. Or, what was another one? There was, there were other games that got their start on, like, uh, not even turbo graphics, more obscure than that. Just systems that failed out of the gate. No one ever had them. And I can't remember some of the Bomberman was on some kind of obscure system. I don't remember oh, that's a dick. That's a dick move. Some kind of Hudson released it on some obscure system that never saw much and I'll just get hit by that. Come on, fish. I need you. 
There we go, okay. There are a few mascots that just never really got to shine until much later when they made it onto, uh, you know, Nintendo or Sega or other, other systems in general. And Bomberman is the big one that shines in my mind. I've been rooting for him in Smash Brothers for a long time. Mostly because of one game. Oh, wow, five up. That's, that's, that's nice. That's real nice. I appreciate that, Mario. Yeah, thank you, man. You can be a real bro, you know that? Now, I know what I'm supposed to do, but fuck that, I'm Weege. Is this a warp? I don't... Have I been up here? Where's this go? It's a warp. Okay. Well, uh... Hope you didn't want to see the rest of the game. I don't have a... Do I have a rewind? No, I don't. Well, oh well. I guess we're on World 7. We're on the final world now. I didn't know you could do that. So, uh, pick Luigi on the right level. You can just skip right on to World 7. No, no blowing up. Not one bomb will explode on my watch. Okay, those ones will explode. I can't stop them. No, thank you. Oh, no mushroom. Yeah, vaguely racist Asian Asian turnip we've got there. See it? Oh, I don't really need that. The last one I pick is going to be the door, isn't it? Yep, well, second to last. Pretty close. Whatever, I got a mushroom. I'm fine, I'm good. It's all I needed. Uh, I needed, I needed on one of those birds. There we go. And I cannot, in fact, lift the bird. Try as I might. They tried a lot of interesting stuff in this game, compared to other Mario games. Mario 1 obviously didn't experiment too much because it was the first one. You know, I had a precedent to set. Mario 2, in part because it was, you know, another property for a while, I'm sure, but uh, it was originally intended as a form of Mario game, so it played a lot in that, you know, it tried out vertical scrolling instead of horizontal. It had a uh, riding on enemies like that. You got to throw enemies. A lot, a lot of interesting stuff in this game that was never really in other Mario games. Oh, uh-oh. I needed... Where'd the star go? God damn it. Oh, sure, the enemies linger from screen to screen, not the power-ups. That's bullshit. That's what that is. Oh, and there's that dude again. Nope. Oh, really? God damn it. God damn it! No. Leave. Fall. To your death. Forever. Yeah! Bad time to pick. Bad, bad time. Ah, oh, whatever. I got ten lives. This might be the most... I think this is the most successful run of this game I've ever had. I've never had ten lives before. That's crazy number. Why am I even farming these guys? I don't need hearts. Are enemies hearts? I still can't remember what's what. Nope. Bad positioning. There we go. Okay, let's try this. Put it in the worst possible spot with that uh, ladybug right there. I think you actually can jump while holding a block, but you have to uh, not be holding the run button. 
which I do habitually in every Mario game at all times. Come on. No, come this way, other way. Come on, Birdo. You're fucking me. Okay, well, that works. And I'm gonna take a hit here. Made it. Oh, he came back! That is a determined Birdo. Nothing. Nothing. Nope. Okay, last level. Uh... Yeah! I've played Mario all of, what, once this game? Luigi's not my best character. I'm gonna try him. I'm gonna try him for the final level. Because... He's the most fun voice. That's the only reason. It's the only reason I would play Luigi in this game. I want to I want to try and get up there. I want to sneak around the ninja. I want I I can do it. I couldn't do it. And there's nothing up here. Okay. Is there? No, there's nothing. And I get hit by a bullet. Okay. Ah, I got lives to spare. I'm the richest man in the world, Mario! Snuck in a little, uh, Super Show Luigi there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Mario! Mario! I think Jack is Luigi's Mansion. That's something we gotta play at some point. I mean, we both played it, but we haven't streamed it. Oh, I don't like the looks of this. I don't like this at all. Let's see if I can figure out where to go in this last maze. Last Castle's always gotta be a maze. Every Mario game. Even the one that wasn't originally Mario. Well, it was kind of originally a Mario game, but... See that sick transfer? Mario! I'm scared, Mario! I don't know what I'm doing here, Mario! I gotta say Mario in every sentence or I'll lose the Luigi voice. Oh, Mario! I do a better Luigi. Slightly. I think I do a slightly better standard Luigi than I do a, a cartoon Luigi. Oh yeah, Ouija time. And just gonna take that. I'm gonna take all the hits. I'm gonna run alongside him to make sure he gets another hit on me. Oh yeah, I would just love to die to those things. What are they? I still don't know what they're called. This doesn't seem like the way to go. I am going to keep going up. Come on, Ouija. Bad place to be, Weege. Okay. Nope. No, 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 no. Why am I so bad at this? Luigi's too used to spending his money instead of adventuring these days. I'm gonna go with the go this way. I'm gonna go the long way, the long, safe, slow way. I'ma take things slow, Mario. No, no, mm-mm. Okay, that's a lot of guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can deal with those guys. I dealt with the guys. Okay. I recognize this spot. I think I know where I'm going now. I don't have a mushroom though. There was no uh there was no door on this level. I'm still disappointed there was no uh Mario 2 set in Mario Maker. That would have made for such amazing DLC.
Wouldn't have been easy to implement, but it would have been so worth it. Oh, come on. Give me something, Birdo. Nope, I'll just, uh, I'm not even get damaged by the fireball. I'm gonna die to the egg. I'm gonna choose my way to go. Oh, come on. One more. Give me one more. There we go. Got him. Okay. Oh, no, you fucker. Give me that. And drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Because it is hot. It's hot merchandise. Wow. Okay, that was a very easy key, actually. Now this fucker. I this guy's a bastard. This is a bloody bastard. Every streamer said this, but you trusted these guys all game long. And then this happens. This fucker just chases you. And apparently, by the way, it was not a uh, bird face in Doki Doki. It was some creepy African mask looking thing that was a lot more like Fanto. Alright, one life, or one hit. That's all I got. I gotta beat Toad with one hit, and I just immediately did not land a single touch on him. Alright, four lives for Toad. I uh, Toad. Yeah, Toad, the final boss of Mario 2. I was the real villain all along! Got him. I'm gonna do it, Mario! I'm gonna be the hero of my own game! It's not a creepy horror game, you know. Luigi's Mansion was kind of weird. Kind of weird. I lost the Brooklyn. Kind of Brooklyn. And wasted. Nope, gonna fuck off. Fuck right off. There we go. Okay, I think he's, what, six hits? Poor me, I'm two hits. And I've already wasted one. All right. Why bubbles? Very a threatening attack deals... Was it like 30 damage in Pokemon? Come on, give me vegetables! What's the story behind... There's a story behind this, right? Like, Wart took over the vegetable factory or something? He wants to... He wants to, like, prevent... All vegetables from being eaten or something? I don't, I don't know, there's some stupid thing. I think he just he's just an evil dude who took over the land of Subcon. And the vegetables are just here for convenience sake. I think that re is really it. Oh, he destroyed the veggies. The fiend. Somehow this was not as effective as Popeye at uh, getting kids to eat their vegetables. But honey, Wart eats his vegetables. He doesn't like the mom. Also, he's the bad guy. God, don't you even play Mario? I was more of a fan of Mario 1, sweetie. That was actually... Now my parents were fans of all the Marios. The NES ones. They kind of stopped... After a world. Never played any of the 3D ones. My parents actually found some use over the NES. Back in the day, crazy as it sounds to- oh, you can jump in there? That, 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 that's, that's cool. Crazy as it might sound to some of you, the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, not a video game console, an entertainment system, was at the time marketed in much the same way the Wii was later. Just stand there and take it. And that, uh, at the time, video games had a very negative reputation among, you know, middle Americans. Of being, you know, they're just, they're time wasters. They're things you go to the arcade and you spend all your, you blow all your money on like an irresponsible delinquent. So, to counter this, the Famicom in Japan was marketed in America not as a video game console, but as an entertainment system. 
And uh, that's also what gave rise to many of the games like World Class Track Meet and Duck Hunt that tried to, uh, you know, tried to mix up that it was, you know, it was more than just a game console. You could use other devices besides, a, you know, a controller. That's a history guide. Yes, it's a history guide. And yes, you are very late, Gold Pepsi Man. Let me guess, you saw that uh, I was playing Mario 1 in the stream title. You're not only here for the end of Mario 2, you're a whole game late. I finished Mario 1 and moved on. <laughs> and I am uh, going to stop the stream after I finish this one. I think this this actually went better than Mario 1 by quite a quite a wide margin. For the this is the first time ever that uh, I finished Mario 2 in a single well, I, maybe I'm jinxing myself. So I haven't finished it just yet. I got to beat Wart. But, you know, in a single session. There it is. Landmark Oh, it's a little baby Ouija. Look at how big his head is compared to the rest of him. And so we free the subcons that look like little demonic baby killer masks. They look like they look like slasher characters on the on the bodies of cupids. Oh, I still ended up using the princess the most. Like that looks like uh Oh, uh, what's his name? The dude from Yume Nikki. Yeah, that guy. Just the evil mask-looking thing. Just on, you know, little Cupid baby heads. So that was my first time finishing Mario 2 in one legit session. No save states. It's all in your head, Mario. There is no subcon, Mario. It was all a dream. Yeah, sorry you missed the uh, bulk of the stream there, Pepsi Man. I'll stream Pepsi Man one day to make it up to you. But we'll be on YouTube. The, uh, the streams are archived to the channel after the broadcast. So, uh, thanks for watching the end of it anyway, and hanging around for my partial history lesson. And now we get credits. We get Toad and Shy Guy with a space. And I think Lestifid spelled with two Fs later on, or without a space rather. Maybe that's the other uh, the other mistake I was told about. I was told there were three mistakes in the Mario Two credits. The most noticeable one being, you know, Birdo and Ostro's name being switched. Anyone else think the enemies in this game could all be Pokemon? I think you'd have a very small subset of Pokemon just from the enemies in this game. Like, you got a ghost type, an electric type. Pokey can be a grass type. There's Birdo and Ostro. An auto bomb. A handful of enemies became staples after this game. Very, uh, less so in uh, Paper Mario, which we streamed a while ago. There were only two or three Paper Mario enemies that later appeared elsewhere in the Mario games. The Goomba King got renamed and appeared in Mario uh, Super Mario 64 DS. I thought that was weird the first time I played it. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's Mario 2. We got both... The first two Mario games weren't done in one session. I don't know how soon it'll be. One day we'll do a Mario 3 multiplayer stream with me and Jack, but I'm done for now. I'm gonna go to bed like a Mario. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.